to the welterweight division here at Fight UK 8. As Jan Magic in the white shorts takes on crowd favorite Shane Flatty in the black shorts. Magic certainly looks big at the weight, Ben. Slovakian unit coming down here for this welterweight contest. Flicking those kicks out as Mojic. Flatty working on the outside, trying to establish his range early. A little smile from Mojic from a low kick. Hard to gauge. Often means would it actually hurt. So often we see it, a bit of gamesmanship maybe. Magic coming in with those kicks again. Not a lot on him, just range finders more than anything. Often used to set up the big punches as we saw there. Flatty with some good head movement, keeping out of the way. Interesting. Interesting process from both guys at the moment, both trying to get the low kicks going. I think it's the fight that's going to put them both together, Ben. Use some hands and an end on a low kick that's going to get the success. Both nice guys jab from Flatty there. Excuse me, Dave, and you make yeah. a good point. Both guys looking for single strikes at the moment. But as you say, Ben, Flatty getting that jab work in there. Mojic, haven't seen much out. Say that, shoots him for a single. The Shane Flaherty gets it, moves immediately to side control. Very well disguised takedown there, Ben. Mojic's got a hold of the head and he's really squeezing tight, but really not able to do a lot from that position unless he shuts the guard. And that's exactly what Flaherty's seen that he's trying to do, and he's looking to crucifix the arm if he can. Yeah, the desperately grasping onto the head in side control is... Often a bit of a marker for a, a more of a novice on the ground, Ben, but he did try and snake in and, and get that half guard, so definitely has some grappling experience, Mojic. Flatty working around, just trying to free the head if he can, going to fight the hands. He pulls the hands and gives himself a little bit more breathing room. But the danger here from Mojic's point of view, Dave, is, is quite simply burning those arms out constantly straining you get that build up of lactic acid that comes very quickly yeah i mean you very very rarely see oh and i say that ben flatty moves straight to the back starts landing some punches oh and it's the end of the round wow furious action to end the round there shane flatty he was on his back like a flash ben from mojic's point of view as i was just going to say ben he's you know he's holding on to the head like you say not only is he going to burn his arms out he's also not offering any sort of defense but saying that Shane Flaherty waited his chance and as soon as there was that little window for a scramble there he was right on his man's back and I think Ben from Flaherty's point of view I mean he's got the blueprint here surely he's going to be looking to get this fight to the floor again because stood up it did look quite even 
the golf on talent certainly an experience more obvious when they fire the canvas as you say Flaherty stood up both fighters are landing a little Flaherty for me maybe a little bit more technical specifically with the jab and the head movement something we see quite a lot from fighters at this level working very well but as you say Mojic held on to that hand held on to that head and just kept that position locked in but as soon as there was a gap as you say Flatty was like a flash taking his man's back and a couple more a couple more seconds on that route it could have been a different story a Shane Flatty in the black shorts comes out for round two Mojic in the white shorts as you say Dave the bigger of the fire but bigger of the two fighters but it's Flatty to me the more disciplined and nice fly knee attempt there very acrobatic yeah, Flaherty really growed in confidence here, Ben, you can see. He's not fearing the takedown, so he's letting loose a little more now. Excellent jab and low kicks already in this round. He's going to look for that right hand over the top, Ben, I think, or maybe even a right high kick. And I say that, Ben, beautifully disguised into a single. I love the way he's mixing it up there, Flaherty. <laughs> going to be interesting to see him on the back now, though, as Mojic gets a takedown of his own. Mojic a real power takedown as Flaherty looks to ice that arm, maybe for a triangle choke, looks to sweep if he can. Obviously no twisting leg locks from this position, but straight, straight Achilles holds, we can see. Knee bars as well, obviously. Yeah, looking very busy here, Flaherty. Corners never want to see their fighter with their back flat to the ground, and Flaherty's doing a good job of moving his posture, just looking for an angle, perhaps create a gap to either strike or get away. Very active guard here, looking for the triangle. Triangle choke over the top, beautiful, always locked that in, and this looks a very tough spot for Mojic to get out of. That is a tight triangle choke, and he's hook, underhooking the leg as well, so his man can't, and now he focuses on pulling the head down. How is Mojic surviving this? Maybe looking to pick up his man and slam out, but I don't think he's got the gas to slam out. Was that a tap? No, it didn't, he wasn't that. There's the tap. Disappointed Yang Mojic, but wow, what a victory for Shane Flaherty. Looked great on the feet, Ben, mixed up with takedowns. And then once he was back on the, on the ground, I mean, there was a real golfing class there. Brilliant triangle, secured the leg to stop him stand up initially, then transferred both hands to the back of the head just to squeeze that last bit of air out of Jan Mojic, forcing the tap. Excellent win for Shane Flaherty.